Hello everyone, welcome to Ton Time. Today we will be looking at the uh, retractable hub docking station for Tesla Model 3 or Y. So this is a no-name brand item. Um, I got it off a website called Timu. Um, not sponsored or anything, I bought this with my own money. Um, I do have a Model 3 and a Model Y. So I will be putting this in my Model Y because um, for longer road trips, um, usually everyone have multiple devices, um, you know, tablet, cell phone, and there might not be enough charging port inside the car. So this one actually gives you, uh, the, so this one docks in the center console of your vehicle and it pretty much gives you um, a type c and the lightning uh, charging along with two more ports uh, type a and type c for a total of four charging uh, you could charge up to four devices at the same time and then you could also you can also use the two charging ports that comes with the car in the back and then if you're using wireless charging um, with your phone that comes with the car in the front you know you could add a lot of devices but this one pretty much adds four more devices to your vehicle for charging on long road trips um, if you are uh, if your car is full of passengers which is pretty cool so no name brand um, let's uh, see what is inside and let's check out the specs and um, you know we'll go from there so this is the retail packaging as you can see um, again no name brand um, it was only like 25 bucks on the website so um we'll see what the build quality is uh but it got a lot of good reviews um i believe this is a hub so it's just not for it, it i think it could probably uh pass data along as well i'll try hooking up like a playstation controller on it just to see uh, if it works but upon opening um the packaging um here you see paperwork that says retractable hub for model three and Y. So make sure um, you got for model three, you got to make sure that you got the uh, the center console lid that just opens and closed uh, automatically. It, it retracts in uh, like the sliding type. Um, the earlier model threes have a lid that flips open. This won't work for it. So um, I believe the year uh, is for 2021, 2023. Uh, so if you have a earlier model three um, this probably won't work for you so be sure you check that out so here's your docking station um, just an illustration and it looks like his logo here I don't know if it comes with a Tesla logo but I don't know if you can load your own logo but we'll find out when we install it and then this is what the hub looks like here so it looks like they match the color of the center console so you don't have to worry about that <coughs> okay okay so looking at this so this is everything in the box it's just got this plastic molding to hold it in um everything's made of abs plastic and it does have the tesla logo so it's not like you could change your logo on the listing it looks like you could change the logo on it but it's not it does just have the tesla logo and i believe this lights up when when the vehicle turns on and these charging port lights up as well so yeah so color is supposed to match with the console um it's roughly about let's see a little bit under eight inches um in length here and then this back area here i think sticks out about about three inches or so on the table um so yeah so that's the dimensions of it there and i believe this here is about one point they say about 1.2 inches yep so here it is i'll put actually you know what they actually have a little image of the dimensions i'll go ahead and post it up now so as you can see here but i just did my own measurement just to confirm on there for you guys and you got two usb ports that hooks um inside the uh, center console um cubby and these are 90 degree uh, cables so when you install it in it just plugs straight into the two USB-C uh, connections inside the, your center console there and then this one would pretty much face up and then you could use these uh, to retract and charge your phone so you got two of them here I believe it's, they says 80 centimeters or about 2.6 feet and it's retractable so um, if you're not using it you can pretty much um, just 
pull this pull this when you pull it it stops to a certain length but when you're done you just pull it all the way out and just pull it all the, uh, just kind of let it go and then you could either leave it up like this for easy easy grabbing or you could just put it to its uh, uh, rest spot right there so both side works the same this side as well and here it says let's see retractable instruction pull and hold the cable gently extend one center more then release for automatic re retraction so it's got a little sticker telling you how to use the retraction there and this is the type c port yeah so you pull it and it locks but if you're done just pull it all the way out and then it kind of retracts back in so it's pretty cool it keeps keeps cable management a lot better and not only that you also have a three amp USB-C connector and a USB-A 2.4 amp. So power delivery wise, so for the Type C, uh, we've got quick charging 3.0. Um, it could charge at 5 volt 2 amps or 9 volts at 2 amps with a max of 18 watts. The USB-A charges at 5 volts 2.4 amps. The C charges at 5 volts at 3 amps and this one here uh, for the iPhone, it could charge at 5 volts 2 amps or 9 volts at 3.8 amps with a max of 27 watts. So everything on the screen here, if you want to take a look at it, uh, I'll put the uh, um, picture here so you guys can see the amperage and the volts and the watts that this thing could take. So you could charge four of them simultaneously at the same time and uh, you could power up four devices together. Um, according to uh, the manufacturer website. So yeah, pretty neat device here. Um, uh, with the charging capabilities that's already in your car, with the two USB ports in the back seat and the two wireless charging in the front, you could you could charge a total of four, five, six, eight devices now in your car with this. Great for family trips, like I said. So yeah. Um, that's pretty much the unboxing. That's everything you get here. So let's go ahead and um, um, take a look um, at the install process here. So this is my Model 3. It's an earlier model. And as you can see, this docking unit won't fit with this kind of center console opening. So I believe the later models have the newer sliding type. But the earlier model, as you can see, uh, excuse all my mess in here. Yeah, the center console for earlier types, Model 3. If you have this type of lid, this will not fit. You need the sliding type. Just wanted to show you guys real fast that it won't work on earlier Model 3 consoles. All right, so now I am in my Model Y. So this is the center console lid cover I was talking about. This is also on the newer generation Model 3. So you want to make sure that you have a retractable center console lid like this to make this uh, docking station work properly for your Model 3 and Model Y. So again, this is in my Model Y right now. So you'll need to make room. This is the tray that comes with the Model Y. So you just push it back a little bit since you could slide it back and forth. Give yourself some room down there. Angle the docking station such as that you see there's four little bumps on each side two bumps on the left two bumps on the right that kind of holds in the unit and there's two charging ports down there uh, that's where the two 90 degree wires will plug in so put it at an angle and then pretty much just slide it down and lock it in like that it's not easy it takes seconds to install and just make sure that you install the two USB 90 degree wires inside as you can see it lights up you close the lid and there you go color matches it looks like uh, looks very stock looking and the tesla lights up when the car is on and i believe the 2.4 amp and the 3 amp lights up as well you got the tesla logo so yeah it looks really good matches well usb you got two extra usb ports for charging and it looks very stock looking and kind of minimalistic as you can see so let's do some charging tests on here I'm gonna take my iPad and my iPad's USB-C so I'm going to get a setup here 
I'm gonna pull it out, plug it to my iPad, and as you can see, it is charging my iPad right now. So I'm gonna pull it out a little bit more and then kind of lock the cable to that link there. Uh, let me get a little bit more link there. And then there you go, there you have it. So you, if you need it longer, you just pull and then when you let go, it just locks in to the link that you want there. The other side, I'm going to pull the cable as well. And I'm gonna plug in the iPhone. So here you have it, I plugged it into my iPhone and it's charging as well on the right side where it says PD with the lightning cable. So now what I'm gonna do is I've also brought some cables to test out the, uh, the USB-A and the USB-C connection on this hub as well. So here is my USB-C cable. I'm gonna plug it into the USB-C part onto the hub there and I'm gonna have this charge my uh, power bank so I'm gonna plug it into my power bank and oh there you see it it's charging my power bank as well so let me put that aside there and the last one is my USB a cable and I'm going to plug it into that USB a slot on the hub and then I'm going to, after I input that in, I'm going to plug it into my iPad mini, which is right here, plugged in and it's charging right now. I think you see on the upper right corner, it's charging. So four devices charging all at the same time on this single hub, as you can see. I really want to show you guys each device that's charging. There you go. So pretty cool. Definitely adds some more versatility um, on charging your devices in your car. And that cool looking Tesla logo in the middle glowing. Probably would look a lot cooler at night. I'm recording this during the day. So uh, you can still see the blue, but it's not so bright. So yeah, so those are the two. You got the type C, type A. And when you're not using it, you could pretty much uh, retract it back. But yeah, it's uh, a lot of cables up here, but not too bad. It's a lot neater than running just a regular hub and having a bunch of cables just coming out of your um, center console here. So now I'm going to just retract it back. So retracting back is pretty easy, as you can see. You can leave it up like that if you wanted to grab the connector really fast. Let me tr retract the other side. Yep, there you go. You see how quickly it retracts? So you can leave it up like that to grab your devices, uh, grab the charger quickly, or you could leave it flat down like this if you want to um, stow it away and use it for another day. Yeah, so there you have it, guys. Pretty pretty cool pretty easy install looks very stock so now let's see if data can go through this docking station with a PlayStation controller so now I want to test to see data communication between this hub and the controller so I have my PlayStation 5 controller here I'm going to use it I have a USB-C cable to USB-A that I know can transfer data and charge at the same time so you want to make sure you got the right cable and I'm going to plug into the USB-A cable here into the hub and let, let me make sure it seats properly so it's hooked up to the controller right now so now the hub is plugged into my controller as you can see here from a different vantage point here. And that's my PlayStation 5. And I see it charging, so I see the orange light charging the controller. And going onto the display here, I have this game called Cuphead, but looks like it says the game requires the controller to be plugged into a glove box of the USB. So it doesn't look like the ports here or this hub is communicating to the car it might just be a charging hub as well so 
Yeah. So as you can see, it doesn't look like the car sees the controller, even though it's plugged into the hub. So I'm going to check this out here and I'm going to try this, try the USB-C to see if it works. And nothing there as well. So I tried the USB-C cable that's built into the unit and nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug and plug it into the glove box to see if it works just to make sure that the controller works with my Tesla here. So give me a second as I run the wires. And now once I plug it into the glove box USB, you see the button, I can play the game with the controller. So it looks like this particular hub can only charge your devices, but when it comes to sending data, it might not be able to. And I'm going to research this further and I will let you guys know what I find. But um, it looks like the PlayStation 5 controller does not work with my hub to communicate to my Tesla Model Y. I also, you know what, I'm going to use the spare USB-C cable that I have. And I'm going to use, I know that this data can do power this cable can do power and data because I've used it before on my MacBook. So let me show you guys here. Let me take it out right now. So this is a white anchor cable that I used earlier to charge uh, one of the iPads. And I know for sure that this data cable uh, works. So I'm going to just plug it straight into the car and bypass the hub just to see if the USB-C hub in this center console can provide data or it's just a charging port. So let me do that test. And it looks like that doesn't work as well. It looks like I need to plug the controller straight into the glove box for it to work. So I went on to Tesla's website and this is what I found here. It looks like if you look on the bottom for some vehicle manufacturer after approximately November 1st, 2021, the center console USB ports may only support charging devices. Use a USB port inside the glove box for all other functions. So it looks like since my vehicle is manufactured in 2023, the USB hub or the USB uh, ports inside this middle console can only do charging. It does not provide data to the card. So that explains why it wasn't working before so that's pretty much it guys um, if you liked the video hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and hope you guys liked it and i will see you guys in the next video peace out till next time